Well, we're starting to receive reports of uh, students clashing with police uh, currently uh, coming out of uh, the center of uh, Johannesburg in the area Bramfontein. Uh, this in light of uh, the national shutdown, which is planned for tomorrow, and uh, many suspect will kick off actually much earlier. Well, for an update, we're now joined by EFF spokesperson Sinao Tambo. Uh, thanks very much indeed. In fact, let's begin with this uh, tweet that... Uh, uh, the former spokesperson of the party, Mbuyseni uh, uh said, uh, for the record, a peaceful march in Bramfontein this evening. Police have started shooting at people who've posed no threat or harm to anyone. Police have started to violate the rights of people to a peaceful protest. All right, that's uh, yeah, all happening in Bramfontein at the moment, uh, and that's... Uh, literally central Johannesburg, but just north of uh, uh, central Johannesburg, uh, where students, we believe, are involved. And uh, police uh, descended on this uh, demonstration, which we're told was uh, uh, peaceful. And the police uh, arrested them and took uh, a number of those students away. We're not sure under what laws uh, that they've been arrested and uh, what they're likely to be charged with. Uh, but uh, EFF, uh, the organizers of the march in general, the, the shutdown in general, um, uh, saying that this is a clear violation of uh, the rights that uh, people have to march and demonstrate. And uh, as you saw from that tweet just now, uh, the EFF saying this is starting to look uh, like a war zone. Siklema uh, Vuzo was saying, uh, in fact, let's speak to the spokesperson, Sinao uh, Tambo, uh, about uh, those images that you're seeing. Mr. Tambo, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, what can you tell us about what's been happening in Bramfontein in Johannesburg? Look, in Bramfontein, Johannesburg, students were holding a night vigil uh, in anticipation of the legitimate and correct and constitutionally protected national shutdown which is set to take place across South Africa on the 20th of March 2023. But as we have seen through the deployment of the military, through the intensified visibility of the police all over the streets of South Africa, in defense of Sigma Maposa, where people are calling for him to resign as the president due to his many failures. Violence is what the state is prepared for, and that is what they are doing in Camp Fontaine and in Dago. They arrested people who are holding candles, who are singing songs, not accept anyone, not violating anyone. I mean, in the images, we see a group of men shoving and swearing at females, shoving them, pushing them into the back of the police van. And then they proceed to shoot at the building, shoot at the window. There's an instruction that shoots at that window. They are the ones now who are uh, damaging and destroying property. And this is the agent provocateur activity that the president of the EFF spoke about. It is going to be the state that creates chaos, going to the state that creates energy, going to the state that damages property in order to rationalize the violation of our people, the arrest of our people, and the killing of our people in defense of the corruption of the And that's what is happening now. And these things are a reflection of the country that is degenerated into a military state. It is a reflection of what the AC is going to do to the people of this country when you ask them for accountability and when they ultimately lose power. What have the authorities offered you by way of um, explanation why these uh, people have been, uh, been uh, arrested? There's no explanation for this. There's no verifiable or justifiable explanation for what is happening in Gampo and Dane and in Hilbro now. They are simply acting out on the promises of human rights violations that were made by the Minister of Police, who said that the jail cells must be filled and we'll see what we feed them later, who said that the jail cells must be filled and they will sleep standing. That's what is going to happen now. They are going to try and arrest us in mass on the eve of Human Rights Day, on the eve of the 21st of March, which is a reflection of when our people fought for their human rights during the apartheid era. They want to fill the prisons with people who are calling for Ramaphosa to resign. They want to fill the prisons with people who are asking for jobs, people who are asking for crime to be attended to and gender-based violence to be attended to. But we're not going to retreat. We're not going to be scared. We're not going to be intimidated. We are many, they are few, and we're calling on South Africans not to let these things persuade them. They must see that this is a reflection of the presidents who have Ramaphosa. This is who Phil Ramaphosa is. He's a black president who's willing to, do, to go to all extents to ensure that no one criticizes him or opposes him. He's a dictator, he's someone who is going to lead this country into a degeneration and he must be removed as a matter of edges. Uh, we are hearing that shots may have been fired by the police. Is that something you can confirm? 
absolutely. The police are firing shots at property and at individuals who have not threatened anyone. Who is under threat at this time? Which business is open? Who is on the street? Because the rationale for the deployment of the army and the deployment of excessive police presence and force onto the street is that it's in the defense of businesses. There's not a single business that is open on the streets of Grand right now. So what are they protecting exactly? Because those students were not threatening anything. What was the verifiable threat of those students who are now manhandled, arrested, shoved, insulted, and had their residences shot at through windows by these police officers? It proved to you and it proved to the people of South Africa that the deployment of the army and the police has nothing to do with protection of property, has nothing to do with protection of businesses. They want to silence the voices that are calling for Ramaphosa to account for its failures, silence the voices that are calling for Ramaphosa to resign. No business is operating now. What justifies those arrests? Are you having these uh, night vigils and um, marches? We're seeing some images from Buffalo City Metro, for example, downtown. Uh, are these taking place around the country already? Everywhere across the country, our people are mobilizing. We're doing door to door. We're loud hailing. We're speaking to communities. We're mass mobilizing. We're marching. We're singing. Students across the country, communities across the country, are aware that the national shutdown begins at midnight. It begins at uh, 1200 hours midnight, and that is what we are doing. No one is under threat, but I think what is going to be proven now during this time where our people are gathering and they engage in each other to come and express their dissatisfaction with this government is that the police and the military are not deployed to protect anything. They are deployed to shut down the voices of protest. They are deployed to violate our constitutional rights to express ourselves through protest. That is what they are doing. That is what they are going to expose themselves and doing when they are going to be arresting, shooting and beating people now when there's not a single business operating to protect, when there's not a single person that needs to so-called be protected from movement. They are already violating our rights, they are already shooting people, they are already arresting people without any verifiable justification. That's what is being exposed here. And it must inspire our people to come out in their numbers, because if you allow it, if you keep quiet, while an injustice is happening simply because it's not happening to you, you will regret it one day, because this is what South Africa will turn into. It will be a country where we are scared, we are in fear of the military, we are in fear of the police, because you see that people get arrested, shot, and violated when they stand up. So our people must come out in their numbers. Parents must not watch children be pushed into police vans by men who are insulting them. Parents must not watch the residences of their children be shot at by police while they're sitting at home. We are calling on the elderly, we are calling on the parents of students, we are calling on students, on the community, on the youth to come out in their numbers and defend the young women who have been violated now as we see live on television. The 20th of March is Freedom Day. Let us go to the streets. Let's not be dictated by fear. Our democracy was born out of sacrifice, blood and revolution, and now it's the time to go back onto the streets. So your fighters uh, are going to be uh, staying on the streets, uh, particularly in Bramfontein at this, start, at this time, despite this police presence? We know exactly now that uh, when these students got arrested, it has incited the students in Bamfontein and the surrounding areas, the University, the University of Johannesburg, the Tibet College in the, in the central business district of Johannesburg. Students are coming out in their numbers because what children of course doesn't understand is that when you have uh, someone who's standing up for their rights, you inspire others. So our people are going to be inspired by this injustice. They're going to stand up and speak out. Even those who disagree with the EFS are going to see that this is unjust. This is unfair. So this has nothing to do with calling anything any so-called anarchy or criminality, but it is simply the deployment of military forces and the police to ensure that no accountability is had in this country to protect the government at all costs. That is what is happening now. So our people are inspired by this. We know that students are coming out in their numbers as we speak, and we encourage them to come out, go into the streets, and continue to protest peacefully. And in the face of this provocation, they must continue to, go to, to protest peacefully and expose this government as one that is ruthless, bloodthirsty, and it goes all costs to ensure that the Maposa mm. is not embarrassed in the international community. So the international community must watch closely because this government has prepared itself to massacre our people in defense of an individual who is corrupt, who has rendered money, and who has failed to leave this country. Have you been able to make contact with uh, any of your fighters that have been arrested uh, tonight? We've been made aware that at this stage, 12 students have been arrested, and uh, we must never be under the misconception that those are only EFF aligned students. 
There are students who are lying to the EFS, there are students who are struggling to register at universities because of free blocks and because free education is not being delivered in South Africa. So we must dissuade ourselves from trying to make this a primary EFS project. There are people who are fed up with no shedding in this country, fed up with gender based violence, fed up with exclusion in the institutions of Ireland when they are part and parcel of this process here. So we know twelve students have been arrested. We can confirm that all of them are members of the EFS and we can see that those who are part and parcel of the, the people's demonstrations in Grand Ponte are not all wearing EFS gallery. So let us try and we understand that the frustrations of our people are generalized or the frustrations of our people are felt by all of us and uh, that is why most of the societies need to come out in support of the national shutdown. And that's why we are calling from a party, from a party to go. It's not partisan. It is a collective frustration of the Russian people who are tired of living in the conditions in which we are living. Uh, Mr. Sinawa Tambo, EFF spokesperson, thanks very much indeed for joining us tonight. All right, that's the EFF spokesperson uh, sharing his thoughts on uh, what's playing out in Bramfontein in uh, Johannesburg uh, this evening. Uh, about an hour ago, um, the police uh, descended on a, a night vigil that uh, was taking place there. And uh, the police have arrested, we believe, at least five people. And uh, the spokesperson of the EFF saying that many of those were uh, manhandled. Females were pushed and uh, insulted by police uh, authorities. And uh, he's saying that uh, a number of students are coming, uh, joining uh, other students there in solidarity.